Hey everyone. Today is a pretty exciting day for me because I just got a filament extrusion line. Um, I went to Alibaba about five, uh, no I'm sorry, about four months ago and I put in an order for a filament extrusion line. And the reason why I did this is because um, the amount that I'm printing in my print farm and the amount of filament that I'm using, which is anywhere from 100 to 200 kilograms uh, per month, sometimes more, um, it just made sense for me to invest in a filament extrusion line and uh, just start making my own filament. So the main reasons uh, why initially I, I thought about buying one is because um, a lot of the products that I was making, I was using Hatchbox ABS filament, and that worked great until Hatchbox started going out of stock on some of the colors that they had. So I had a customer that um, built a product around the colors that I had for Hatchbox. So when that customer reached out and said, hey, I need to fulfill this order, um, I need you to make a few thousand pieces, I was kind of in a bind because um, Hatchbox was out and I couldn't fulfill the order. So I tried to, I, I think I purchased maybe 10 different ABS blues from various manufacturers and um, none of them were an exact match. So that was a pretty big problem. And I thought to myself, you know, I don't want to be stuck with any one manufacturer's color, uh, especially if they run out and I don't have control over that supply. So that was the main reason I decided to invest in this extrusion line and just go for it. You know, I don't really know anything about making filament, but I'm going to learn. And I bought a what I think is a good quality machine. The manufacturer of this machine is uh, Afur, I don't know how to say that correctly. I think that's how you say it, they're in China. Um, a sales rep named Vicky, I worked with her. Uh, and all in all, shipped to Houston, Texas, this machine cost me uh, $21,000. Now, now this is a pretty long machine, it's about 20 feet long, and I didn't have a place until um, I built this shop, so this is a 25 by, um, I'm sorry, it's a 25 long by 16 wide, nine feet tall uh, building. So I had this built specifically so that I can put this extrusion line in here. Um, I had power run to it. This is a three phase machine. So I'm gonna have to buy a 220 volt to three phase. 220 um, converter so that I can run this machine. It says it's about 11,000 kilowatts of power uh, for the startup. I guess that includes the heating of the of the uh, the screw and just other things. I guess once it gets up to temperature, it will um, go down in in power consumption. And then it says running watts is about 9,000. So somewhere around 75 amps or so, I think, uh, on 220 single phase. So, um, yeah, I, I got enough power just for this machine. I also got a vacuum. Uh, it's a vacuum chamber for vacuuming the filament and then a chiller for setting the temperature of the water bath. And then I have this old rack here that I'm gonna repurpose and that's where all the filament is gonna be. Um, so this, this machine uses Siemens uh, PLCs, good stuff. Um, I know that, so I know this is a pretty, pretty well built machine, which is why I went for it. And I know there are cheaper, smaller machines, but this one is capable of eight kilograms an hour, which is enough for me. I can spend a weekend making the filament that I need. Uh, and this should be totally fine for my, for my uh, purpose. So once I get this going, I'll be able to make filament. And then I can share the process with you guys as well because you know, maybe you're just starting out with your print farm and you're buying you know, three or four uh, spools a week, going through it, and eventually it turns into 100 a week. 
And uh, yeah, you can at least kind of follow me along as I learn this process. So pretty exciting. I'll, I just wanted to jump in, just record this really quick, give you guys an update, those that have been following along and yeah, we'll learn to start making some filament. All right, thanks guys.